Jesse. Really good. Cool. Oh, now, boys, taking you back a little bit. Yep. Do you remember how much you used to pay for your school dinners? That's not a little bit. That's a long way. Yes. Is it really? Too far, uh, really? 15p a day, yeah. Was it about 15 pence? Yeah, it went from 12p to 15p, yeah. yeah. And did you look forward to the old tabioca or blamon? I think we'd say Sago. Sago? Sago. Sago. I, I liked a bit I, of Sago. I have to say, my school dinners were actually pretty good. I quite yeah. enjoyed them, actually, yeah. Yeah, fab. Yeah. And we're going the other side of the world now. I don't know. Well, what I was going to say, it must like. be about one and six, was it, rather than 15 <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eight him. <laughs> no, I used to cycle home. We yeah. didn't, I didn't, you know, we didn't have school dinners at all. Cycle I really home. Took, took, no, it's just, yes, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Run on. I actually get on to the cooking. I <laughs> love that. I love being the milk monitor and seeing how many little bottles of milk I used to drink. Do you remember those little bottles of milk? Well, we've got two people here today who do work in that school environment and perhaps they can tell us what the modern day cost of a school lunch is. Let's find out more as we welcome from Stains, Caroline Edney. <laughs> Yes. Go on then, Mrs. Spill the beans. How much, how much do the kids have to pay now? It's £1.50 a day. Oh, that's pretty so, good, isn't it, in modern-day really standards? It really is good, yeah. And the quality of food good? It's, oh, it's exceptional now, yeah. after the, the big thing that's been on recently. Yeah. It's, it's really... Then we've really upped it. It's a lot of healthy eating. Sure. Everybody's so up to it. And we're all responsible for that, to keep that going, aren't we? Oh, so yeah. parents are behind it, teachers, everybody, all the yes. staff behind it. You're in the old budget department there, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. All the finances, yeah. Uh, is that quite difficult, sort of balancing all um, the finances at school? Yes, it can be very, very difficult mm. because the funding isn't so great, so you have sure. to look at other ways of bringing more money in yeah. and then managing it across the... Yeah, like board. fashion shows. We'll find out oh, more indeed. about that later. <laughs> all right, darling, tip your bag out. Okay. Let's have a look what you brought along for us. See how you budgeted. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> very well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at those yard beans. Ooh. Right, OK. Um, calf's liver. Mm -hmm. I, I really, really love calf's liver, but the only mm -hmm. time I've ever cooked it, it's like shoe leather. Yeah. Um, tin of tomatoes to go with the 24 other cans that I've got at home. <laughs> we and, all got and them. And these. I yes. saw these and I thought they were very long and interesting. Mm. Snake beans. Mm. Oh, OK, thank you. Yes, lovely. And the bacon, obviously, <laughs> with the liver. You're all thinking about that, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Oh, this is going to be interesting. Don't go to Ross's kitchen. How much did you spend, <laughs> love? Let's cover them up. <laughs> It was um, £4.93. Good shopping. Very, Thank very you. good shopping indeed. Do you approve, Chef? You like that? Fantastic. Those? If we get some time, we might actually cook. <laughs> <laughs> Always uncontrollable who they are, Ron. That'd be your best mate. She actually works with her two from Middlesex, Kelly Davis. <laughs> Hi, right. mm. How are you? Oh Very dear. Well. Now, you also work together, yeah. I do, yes. And what's it like when you walk in in the morning? Is it a big laugh or do you think, oh, who's the disciplinarian out of you two then? That lady there. Yeah, she really <laughs> yeah. Does she crack the beans? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Very long ones. Yes. <laughs> Looks a bit scary, doesn't oh, she? She is. She's <laughs> very scary. scary. Oh, lovely. Listen. Especially on a Monday morning after hockey over the weekend. Oh dear, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. She's telling you all the gossip now, isn't she, girl? Go on, yeah. Get it out. Oh, mm. That's it. Keep shaking it. We'll cut there. Don't worry. There we are. Lovely. No. Nice. Oh, right. What have we got here? Tuna. Mm hmm Not quite sure what to do. Normally do it on the barbecue. Sure. Now I want to start doing a winter recipe mm -hmm. with that. Sure. Okay. Penne pasta, again, going for the healthy side. The mm. children love it. Um, do macaroni cheese and things like that. I but wanted, macaroni yeah, cheese. Yeah, favourite. Mm. So I wanted a bit different. Sweet corn, my youngest daughter's favourite. Mm. She calls them yellow peas. Yeah, fair so, enough. Good and for then you. A bit of vegetables. Well, lovely. Lovely so. name to call something like that, yellow peas. Yes. How much did you spend then? £4.91. Oh, good. Good, good. good so. stuff. Happy with that film? Nice, you think? Healthy overall? bag. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Goody, good. Not well you. done, Kelly. The food. Oh. <laughs> I tried to be. <laughs> I said it before he said it. <laughs> I'll whip you with the old things, oh, mate. No, they're not long enough. They're not long enough. All right, I'm going back over there then. Can we borrow okay. some of <laughs> Caroline, what's Ross going to do for you? Well, I've got three pieces of liver, so it stands to reason we'll do three different dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it, it's, it's, three is quite small for us for in terms of number, but it's going to be plenty of work. We're going to make a Spanish cassoulet sort of type arrangement with mm. some beans and bacon and tomatoes and what have you. Yeah. We're going to take some bacon, uh, some um, liver rather, and make a pate and layer that up with some rushti. I'm in the mood mm. for rushti. Yeah. And we're also going to make sort of a chan of, so we're going to see if, I, some, something I haven't done before, see if it works, cook the liver and bacon into a ring and then fill it with Russian 
and salad and make a salsa to go with it. Wow. So we're having a bit of an experiment. So if it doesn't work, at least we've done something. Do you like the idea you were in a bit of an experimental Oh, yeah, very much so, yeah. Up your street then. Yeah, fine, Caroline. Looking forward to that. Okay, Kelly, let's find out what Phil's going to do for you. Right, I think what we'll start with, we'll cut the tuna out so we get a beautiful piece of tuna which we'll just keep almost raw, as you should be serving it. We have never tasted that before, but we'll do that. Then we'll do, we'll marinate some in almost like a very sort of. Uh, Asian type sort of uh, marinade. Cream sweet corn, which I love, into fritters. Cream, cream sweet corn, I'm trying to say that. Uh, penne, roasted pepper, and spinach uh, roulade, and spring onions will go into here and here. I looked at that mm. and I thought you were going to do a um, souffle when I saw that out there. Well, you... it's sort of a souffle, isn't it? Mm. In a roll. Oh, yeah, this is true. Do you like a roll? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's get cooking, ladies and gentlemen. 20 minutes, when I say ready, steady, cook. <laughs> what are they like? <laughs> Three different types of uh, liver Ross is going to be doing here. Classic one's going to be cooked down, a little bit of a, like a cassoulet with the tomatoes and the beans, little strips of bacon. The other one's like a tian. He's going to say he's going to put that into the ring. And a classic version of the old liver and bacon. Am I right there, Chef? Something pretty much. Something like that. What's, what's, We've got Ross we'll we'll too, we'll so we're going to accompany one of the dishes. Something delicious with the tomatoes down the other end. Phil is going to be doing some cream sweet corn and also some sweet corn fritters. The panne is going to be put through a lovely sauce. A slightly raw piece of tuna. The additional piece of tuna is going to be marinated in some form of sort of oriental style sort of uh, marinade, including the spring onions, no doubt. Oh, that's kicking up there a bit, isn't it, Phil? OK, all right, that's lovely. Let's start this process off then. I'm um, looking at... Uh, the liver, shall we, Ross? Indeed. It's, mm. um, unfortunately, it hasn't been skinned. Yeah. So when you buy liver, you want to ask your uh, your uh, butcher to skin it first. It's just a little membrane on the outside of it makes it sort of shrink, shrink a little itself. bit. Okay. So it better, you, I can see it's still on there. It would be better to take off. It's a really boring job. Mm -hmm. um, Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it, and it's probably <laughs> better not to be you. You know, yeah. that's what the butcher's there for. Mm -hmm. Coming from New Zealand, we used to live on lamb's liver, mm. and you um, get a bit bored with it after a while. And my mother's taste. not the best of cooks. So yeah. I think the cobbler would be the better place to put it, frankly. But there <laughs> OK. Are. Without being too rude to... to no, 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 no. Some people like uh, go for that kind of offal thing. No, yeah. I like offal very much, but yeah. it's just... It was, you know, I was 16 when I found out that um, cabbage could be green as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> She's, we, you know how you, in this country you have stir-up Sunday? You know, yeah. you stir it up. Well, we, we had sort of um, Brussels sprouts Valentine's Day, because that's when she put them on to be, so they'd be ready for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your mum. poor <laughs> mum, your poor mum. I don't know what. You've had a couple of minutes already. OK, uh, is this for the TN that you were yeah, referring to? Yeah, this is just an idea I had. Um, this, this bacon sadly isn't British. Yeah. Um, I do try to buy British whenever possible to support our farmers. Mm -hmm. But the streak, it's got lovely little bits of fat in it, so it's going to keep it really nice and juicy. By using the back of a knife, you see, we can flatten it out. And I yeah. think a couple of those wrapped around some bacon will make a delicious churn. Mm. I haven't done it before, so I'm not entirely sure about the timing. So we'll just keep an eye on it. But again, you know, for the people watching at wrapped home... Wrapped around what, Chef? Well, I'm going to put it inside these, these, these moulds. But yeah. just again, for the people at home, just remember that, mm. you know, a lot of cooking is experimentation. We don't know the answers to everything. And it's good to have a go. Yep. You know, you can't get it wrong, really. Okay. My idea was... Uh, that's this, what I mean, wrapped around the old liver, that's what you're doing. To put this in here. Yeah. Actually, if I wrap it around this, it might be easier. Yeah. Wrap it around there and then have it inside the other one so it forms a nice roundel. Oh, can you get that in there? Oh, you're a very clever boy, aren't you, eh? Um... <laughs> I'll let you get over there. I'll come back and okay. see you. OK, let's get over here. Phil has already chopped up some peppers. He's got them sorting down there in a little bit of olive oil. We'll find out what for in a minute. Uh, kind of a creamy sauce there, Phil. What's creamy happening? Creamy sweet corn sauce. Dead easy. OK. A little bit of vegetable stock cube. Mm-hmm. Cream, a touch of white wine. Yeah. Cream sweet corn. And a bit of mustard, that's it. Okay, and you Beautiful. just allow that to cook down. Really, and what about really your sweet corn fritters? Have you kept some back for that? Uh, yes, it's in over there. Okay, like beautiful. Right, next, next job, actually. All right, Kelly and can do. How long would you reduce this down for with the cream and everything? Unless you bring it to the boil lanes, it should be okay. Okay, just bring right. that to boil. Nice creamy sweet corn. Sweet that's corn a bit fritters. Of a twist. Get yourself a, a spoon, my love. Right and do you, want a, do you want a, an egg in there too? I've got it right here, Reigns. Okay, then. We'll have in there. 16 minutes to go now, guys. Two eggs into there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And a bit of splosh of milk. Have you ever made sweet corn fritters before? No, I haven't. No? No. Okay. There you Dead go. Simple. So you're finding out about everything, aren't you? Yeah. Surface and flour. Mm -hmm. Two eggs. Yeah. 
your bits and pieces you want in there. We'll have some okay. shots in there as well. Milk. Uh, just bring just it together. Kind of, uh, I think he's already got a splash in there, so you keep oh, that right. going. Has he? Yeah, just sort of work that around there, and you're making like a batter. Oh, he's put some chives oh, in there definitely. too. Do you like that oniony oh, flavour? Definitely. I think that's probably there. You might yeah. need a... That's it. Bang out the uh, little bits of flour there. <laughs> oh. that's it. Sorry, darling. Oh, dear. That's coming out there, is it, no. eh? Go on, you two can get it out. Oh, darling, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. No, it's all right. I've got two eyes. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> what are we going to do with the old pasta, mate? Right, pa I know a lot of chefs get bored when we sort of give them pasta on ready, steady, cook, because it's kind of like, how do I make it look good? Yeah. How do I win with pasta? Auntie Royal Thompson's a bit like that. Oh. Oh, yeah. well, so what, what do you think? What, what are you going to do with it to make it look I'm going to make cream spicy? sweet corn. My kids, yeah. my kids love pasta. Yeah. Now, I'm a great believer in, rather than getting your kids to try something new, use a variation of what they like. Yeah. So they'll eat mm. pasta in any shape or form. They won't eat particularly eat sweet corn out of a can, but they will eat it in the pasta. Yeah. So yeah. I use that as a vehicle yeah. to latch everything onto. Yeah. Love, it doesn't yeah. always work. But, you know. Know, a lot of parents do that. They use a tomato, exactly. a yeah. can of tuna or something like that. You're using fresh tuna, aren't you, Phil? I am. Oh, yeah. Good, good, mm. good job you reminded me. Right, Bella. There right. you go. What I need to do, sweetheart, is yep. if you can put the mixture of soy sauce yep. and lemon ju lime juice into there. Yeah. Soy sauce is there. OK. There. Any honey or anything, Phil? No, or I'm going to keep it dead, dead savoury. OK, dead savoury. Oil don't and also lime juice. Yep, no OK. Is this one all right here? That's all right, Ains. OK, that's fine. I've got to talk about that, mate. OK, no problem at all, if you're happy with that. Yep, cool. All right, then. Now, now I'm going to cut around the tuna. Yeah. Because I want to keep the trimmings, Ainsley, mm -hmm. for almost 14 like a, minutes. a ceviche, which is basically mm -hmm. a raw, marinated fish dish. And it's delicious. Okay. And all it is um, is uh, some sort of acid, so lemon juice or lime juice, coriander, orange juice, touch of oil, and that's it. And that will cook it. But and you it need to cut that a little bit it. thinner than that, to cut that in half. Well, no, <clears throat> we're, going to, we're going to keep it fairly raw because that's the whole point of tuna. OK. You must overcook it. OK, right. so the acidity of the lemon juice or the vinegar... And right. chemically cook it. Chemically cook it. All right there, guys. Go, sorry, is that enough? Or Lovely. Do you want more uh, more? Uh, that's fine, my love. Yeah, yep. so, all right. Yeah. And then you just want the lime juice in there. Yeah, yeah. and all on top of that. Yeah. Give that a good old squid. Bit of garlic in there, Phil, or not? Yeah, a little bit of garlic and some salt and pepper. OK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, bit of garlic there. Beautiful. Using my muscles. Yeah, yeah, go on. Put that in there. Twist yeah. one way and squeeze the other way. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. You learn something every day, oh, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, twist I'll... and squeeze. That's it. A bit of garlic in there. Should we just crush that? Yeah. Here we are. I'll just do. Should we do that with the old? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we are, love. Just get the old pan and bang it on top there. Go Is on. that what you do? Yeah, just give yeah. it a good bang. That's it. And again. That's my girl. There so you go. So there's no modern cons then. Uh, well, we got a few mod cons, but we only got 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Exactly. Right. <laughs> Is it all going in like that? Uh, chop it a little bit. You can just chop okay. it just a little bit. Well, that's fine. It's going to be a marinade anyway. So. Okay, it's just a marinade, so it doesn't really matter. There you go, my darling. In that goes. Watch your fingers. There you go, in there. All right, now, Phil, pasta's yes. cooking. Pasta's Sweet cooking. Sweet corn's cooking. The peppers are cooking. We are going to actually be cooking our beautiful fresh rondelle of tuna there in some um, sort of lemon juice or lime juice. I quite don't know yet what Phil's going to do with it. What's happening here? I Chef don't know. Honest, to be honest, it? <laughs> <laughs> no, se seriously. Mm -hmm. Egg yolks here. Okay. So I'm going to put some sea mustard into. Okay, Chef, yeah. Okay, so I'm into oh, there. Just want to lose that one. There we are. What's that heat there? That's fine, That's, That's, cool, it. That's yeah. off. All right, then. Then mix these egg yolks up. This is how easy it is, yeah. okay? Egg yolks, cooked spinach, as we've got here. Yeah. Now remember, they've been in the microwave. Yeah. So we don't want to cook the egg yolks, but just bring that together. Okay. Two tablespoons of flour. So the heat from the spinach that's been in the microwave is starting to cook your egg yolks, yep. don't panic. Two tablespoons of flour, roughly, yeah. into there like that. Yeah. Mix it up so it soaks up the egg yolk. Yeah. Whisk get the egg whites, pour it together, whack it in the oven. Beautiful. Looking that's forward it. to seeing that, Phil. Thank you that's very it. much. And you get that brilliant green. That's OK, all beautiful. Here. All right, I'll come back and see you. Back down to the green pepper kitchen here. When we left Ross, he was talking about doing three different variations of uh, liver dishes using calf's liver. That's what we've got on the menu today. So tell us how you've uh, done this one particular one, Chef. Um, th th this is basically going to be our pate, so it's melted butter, onion, garlic, lots of thyme, lots of nutmeg, pepper, Beautiful. salt and pepper. So it's almost done. That's probably ready to come off. We're going to blend that. Beautiful. And let it go nice and soft. OK. We've got some beans cooking, which we're going to wrap in bacon for our mm -hmm. cassoulet, which has started here already with the onion and garlic. Chris yeah. Uh, sorry, Christine. Caroline's been a superb, uh, <laughs> superb help here. Yeah. Is she doing a good job? She's doing a great oh, what job. What are you squeezing out there? <laughs> she's <laughs> the best contestant I've had this today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're making a bit of a roshty of yourself, aren't you? There we are. Do you want a frying pan on there, Chef? Uh, I will do it. Yep, yeah, please. Okay. Super. Lovely. Let's get our rolls up. 
All right, one pan on there. So, where did you guys uh, actually start to sort of bond? Was it a, a school fashion <coughs> show, am I right? Yes, um, we'd organise... I was working there at the time, and I'd organised this fashion show to raise yeah. money for the school. Mm -hmm. And uh, first off, we thought it was just the kids that were going to have to do the modelling, which was absolutely fine. But then we heard yeah. that, no, the adults had to do it. Yeah. So there was myself and Karima Mould, the head teacher. Oh, wow. We were sort of coerced into it. And then they said, well, you need some more mums. Mm. So I had to go down to the school gates and beg and plead, and because I got, grabbed Kelly and said to her, look, come on, you've got to do it with me. So what did most of the mums say? Were they quite no, willing? No, they ran. <laughs> they just ignored exactly. me. They, they, they flew grabbed out the gate. that push buggy and they're out the <laughs> yeah, gate. They were gone, they? gone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But no, it was, it was good mm. fun. We had a real good giggle. Yeah, Kelly, did you enjoy the fashion show? Oh, immensely, <laughs> Angley. I think the couple of bottles of wine helped it go along <laughs> immensely. <laughs> what, the second you, couple or the first couple? You, <laughs> you have to get really sizzled, didn't there you? Was, uh, All right, darling, there. there we are. Get your tatty in there. Ooh. That's it. Bit of, a bit of a tatty. Be careful you don't... So that's it. Just push that down there. Get it in Ooh. there and push it down. No, 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 no. no, no. no. What did no, you want? Do you want in a ring? No, some, just put some... We'll put some... No, we're, we're going, we want a number of them, actually, so we're going to put some corn flour in there. There you go. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> we'll put them in that bowl, No, then, that's, fine. that's fine. Ideally, custard powder is the thing to use. Is it really? Because the yellow in it makes them really lovely and golden. There you go. Another good tip from Ready, Steady, Cook. Yellow in I want, it makes them lovely four, and golden. I want four roasted, OK, out of that. Okay. So when you cook them, cook them in mm. quarters. I'm going to give you that job. Mix them together and then push them in. That'd be great. Wow. Well, there you okay. go, darling. Bit of, bit of pressure on you there. Yeah. Have you ever made <laughs> a bit. roasted before then? I have, actually, but yeah. I didn't used to squeeze out the... Um, the water. The water, cause and because they just... They're horrible. They go all mushy. And yeah, absolutely. Well, good. they say that if you, if, you, if you do squeeze out the water, it kind of makes it a lot more crispier because mm. you're actually removing the starch. But you need to go halfway house. Well, you bit, need don't to keep you? the starch yeah. and to keep them together, but the water mm. so they don't so they stay crispy. Yeah, that's sure. The no, they chat. were pretty disgusting. So, and do you ever have rushy on the menu at school, or is that a bit? Uh, no, the Kelv. We, had, we haven't had that, have we? They've changed all our menus, and I'm not sure quite. I mean, they're getting quite adventurous now. They are Ooh, very adventurous. This is it, really you see. Quite, no, I don't think rushy has been on there yet. Mm. So what's the what's the best thing on the menu then? What do you like? Well, Kelly really likes the butterscotch tart. Ooh, <laughs> what's favorite. so special about the butterscotch tart? Well, our um, dinner late, well, the ladies in the oven, um, in the kitchen, they um, cook it all fresh. And Chris is just wonderful at this butterscotch tart. So every time it's on there, I get this little double portion of this butterscotch. I'm sure that goes back to the to office herself. for the afternoon tea. <laughs> yes, I'm I don't sure. get a look in. <laughs> here we are, darling. Get those rosti on there. Time is moving on. Here we are. Put the steak right? in here. Yeah. You want them in here, Ross? Yeah, thank you. Yep. There you go. Eight minutes to go. Let's get those rosties on. We've got to cook those catties. I think it's free enough for you, Ross. Yeah, uh, four. I want four all together, please. Okay. Oh dear, easy. He wants four. We've got to give him four, haven't we? There you go. Get those in there. That's it. What are you blending there, Rossi? That's the pate, which is probably was done by guessing by God. So okay. well, I hope that sets in time. It should cool down. It's the butter, the thyme, the salt, pepper, okay. and what have you. And I think the Ross was saying it should cool down. Remember, we've got butter in there. What ha happens to butter when it cools down? It, it starts sets. to reset. Exactly. So that's basically why we're saying it should set after a while. Should I pop that in the old fridge for you then, Ross, in the freezer? That would be superb. Thank you okay, very much. Okay then. There we are. I don't care what Phil says. You're a fine chap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's he like? There you go. So right, we'll that's keep, in the freezer we'll part, eye, we'll, Ross. We'll keep an eye on these roasty here. OK. And make sure they're nice and sort of... We need to we'll flatten them down, make them nice and flat, whatever. But All right, listen, I know they're not terribly healthy, but they are for a treat. They're jolly nice. Absolutely. I've put that on a slightly higher heat there Thank for you. Very much. So that's going to cook down. We've Super. got some potatoes cooking there. And seven minutes to go. Before I disappear, uh, Ross, what's happening in this? Uh, this is a cassoulet that well, you Well, that's sort of to. tomato sauce at the moment. I'm just going to brown these rolls of beans mm. with the bacon. So we've uh -huh. got lovely colour and, and what have you. And that's going to be, that's, they're going to go into our, into our cassoulet as well. That's going to be the meat. There's also some okay. liver gone in there. No, um, no. I've got... If, if um, Caroline would be so kind as to find me some white wine vinegar, some sunflower oil, um, Dijon mustard, sugar... We'll make a little bit of mayonnaise to go with our Russian salad. We're going to make okay. a, a salsa as well. Keeping you busy, yeah. love. Keeping me busy and all. Well, the trouble is she's so good, you see. Oh, this is what happens. Practice. There you go. And do you, want a, do you want an egg yolk with that? Uh... I've, got, I've got an egg yolk, thank you. There I we are. Need, I just need the... Uh... So it's a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of mustard, a tablespoon of uh, white wine vinegar. There you go. Some salt and pepper. Whisk it all together. In fact, Caroline can do it while she's there. There you go. Fantastic. Yard-long beans. Tell us a bit about those. 
Is it worth people going out, pursuing, buying them and using they're, they're them? They're like green, I mean, you know, they're very traditional Thai, mm. Thai things, but we tend to chop them up anyway, so, yeah. you know, it's entirely up to you. These are the beans that traditionally are used in, in um, Todd Man Pla, the, yeah. um, you know, the, the Thai fish cakes. Mm -hmm. These are the beans that go into those. And a uh, pat particular type of flavour, do you think it's... Uh... Pretty much the same as, as yeah. the ones, actually. But Maybe they... a little bit nuttier, just a yeah, touch Yeah, but, the, but they look rather nice, yeah. that, that's great. That's beautiful. But you and could serve just... them in those lovely swirls, nice little tomato sauce. Of, of it looks really lovely at a dinner party, try it. And it's, it's, it's nice to try something different, isn't not, it? No, and not terribly expensive. Doing a great job there, Caroline. She's cooking that. Good. The rosties are coming along. Potatoes are cooking down. We've got that lovely sauce there, which are a few of those. I thought you're putting some beans. You have got some beans for that, haven't you? I, well, yeah, gonna I'm going to put, put some beans into the... Uh, a little bit of bean in there, a little bit of bean into the Russian salad as OK, well, and your tian is in the oven. Let's go back down and see what yeah. Phil is doing down here. Right, Ains. I think we've got the old uh, sweet corn fritters that are coming along there quite good. Tuna. Look at that. Just turn it over. Tuna. I'm yes. turn it off, Ains. There's enough heat in there to cook that. Residual it's going to warm it through. That. I mustn't finish. cook it right through. It's going to warm it through. OK, if that, guys. If that makes sense. OK, and notice, what type of seeds is this? Uh, Just sesame. Just the sesame seed. Nothing else. Nothing else. OK, yes. five minutes to go. We've oh. got some beans <laughs> that are cooking down there. Spring onions in there. OK, the spring onions and a little bit of batter there for frying off. These are looking good. Shall I give you one of these, Phil? That's fine. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for that, Ains. Here we are, chef. Yeah, mm. that's good. There okay. you go. Yeah. No. Oh. She, she was quite persuasive to get you, one of the mums on the, uh, very, the old catwalk. Very what was it like then? Were you a bit, bit frightened walking up and down? How did the kids react? Oh, the kids were fantastic. They were cheering us on and I had my oldest one there. Yeah. And um, she was obviously shouting, Mum, Mum, well yeah. done. And um, we were using the school office to get changed. And, did um, you practice at all? Um, we had a little bit of a catwalk, little yeah, yeah. Oh, come down <laughs> here, you. Come down here. Quick, quick, quick catwalk, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. And you got to, let's walk from here, then you can turn around and do the flash. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the catwalk mums. Go for it, girls. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Come back in. Right, <laughs> Right, Lucy, oh, if you can just... Yeah, I'll give you a glass of wine after you've done it yeah. this time, darling. Red or white? White, please. The white, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ever been on a catwalk, Phil? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Thank you. you did Cosmo or something, didn't you? Yes, I did you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no. I, I didn't say no, though. You said no. <laughs> What's my next? Can you just chop some of these up for me? OK, it's everything's nice coming along. We've got a few sweet yep, corn okay. fritters. We've got some chives being chopped up here. Remember, the tuna has got the residual heat there. We've taken some of our uh, spring onions here, put them in a little bit of batter. He's cooking those off in olive oil there. That's kind of a healthy mm. approach. And nice and fast. Oh, yeah, what type of batter, Phil? Just a simple... Just flat, self raising flour and water, eh? It's not yeah, self-raising flour and water. You don't necessarily need egg all the time, guys. Everyone thinks batter, egg. No, just a bit of flour. Sometimes you want to put a beer. You can put a bit of beer straight into two, some flour. Just beat that up and dip your fish, whatever you want, and then straight into your fryer. OK. Can we... There yeah, we are. We've this. got Somewhere, a... Uh... Yeah. Ainsley. All right, we've got a spinach roulade, did we? Yes, there we are. There's the roulade. Quickly, Phil, I need to go yep. back over. Oh, no, hang on. OK. Mm. Go on, you do that, I'll turn those over for Top you, man. mate. Go on, just show this, Ains. Yeah. Non-stick paper, look at that. The roulade's uh, ready to go. Yeah. Turn it over like that, pull the, the edge off the roulade, look at that. The flour holds it in place. OK. Then just roll the whole thing up, mm -hmm. like that. Roll it over and it should just roll off on its own. OK. Like... That. OK, is like it coming that. Look at that, look at that. There you look go, squeeze that. that up. Round of applause there, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's looking yeah. wicked. There you go. OK. A yeah. couple of minutes to go there. We've got roulades, we've got sweet corn fritters, we've got lovely bits of pasta, but over the other side, equally delicious. Yeah. We've got crispy <laughs> rosties, we've got a stew that's been cooked down with the tomatoes, the liver, the bacon and the yard beans. We've got a little dressing that's going ready here to go with the tea. Well, you missed the good stuff, mate. Well, tell yeah, me where the good no, stuff no, you're is. Over, you're over there chatting away to there. <laughs> oh, get in. And, 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 you, and you said, you know, <laughs> have you ever been on a catwalk, um, Phil? And I said, you know, <laughs> quietly to Caroline, put me through college. And she said, really? <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky mare. <laughs> He's calling you the mayor. What's yes, he like? I know. Oh, she could be the mayor. The way she gets everything <laughs> organised at her school, I tell you. Okay, tell us what's happening here now, Chef. Okay, so cooking we've got down beautifully. Bean and bacon rolls are doing very nicely. I'm going to pull them yeah. up and just reduce the sauce slightly. We've got the uh, mayonnaise whisking away to make mm. our Russian salad to fill our roulade. Yeah. The roulade is out. Yeah. We're doing very, very well over here, despite Whoa. my. Um, L the lack of the lack of faith that this my competitors good dinner had. party food, isn't it? Great yeah, dinner party this. food. That's it. One minute, the music started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it all starts to happen. Rosties are looking good here. 
cooking those off there, Chef. Fantastic. A land that sort of kind of melt down there. Just We've got the mayonnaise. All right, do you want the mayonnaise in there? Just enough in the binder. That's enough. That's enough. That's it. Just to bind that up. And then don't use the spoon. Use a spoon. Okay, nothing in the oven here. Audience, remember you're voting for what the chef did with the ingredients they were given. Start thinking about that, though, guys. Out comes the little tan of liver and and the beautiful bacon in there too. All right, about 25 seconds now. 25 seconds. It is all going to happen. Right, now keep it. Right, okay, we're doing very well. 20 seconds to go. Let's get this done. Just be careful, that because it's really hot. Okay. Here we go. Audience, get ready to help me count down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Get some pat. Get some pat. Still buzzing in the kitchen here to remind you of what our chef started with. Ross Burden had calf's liver, a large potato, streaky bacon, yard-long beans, a tin of tomatoes and an onion. Whilst Phil Vickery started off with a nice piece of fresh tuna, penne pasta, spinach, a tin of sweet corn, an orange pepper and a bunch of spring onions. Well, look at this. <laughs> Food for the best of mates, but will they be the best of mates after this? Depends who wins, doesn't it, eh? Oh. Caroline, are you ready for this? I am. OK, pick up your cutlery, have a bit of a taste, tell us what oh, you think. Thank Ross, you. What about a name? Well, I said I'd teach you to deliver a model supper. Oh. Oh. A bit slow in the front row. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Slow. All right, then. All right, right. All right. All right. Tell us what yes, you did with your ingredients. OK, so we took one third of the liver, we wrapped it around the be with bacon it's and, and made the tian, yeah. which we filled with a Russian salad. We've made fresh mayonnaise, but, and that's the beans and the, and the potatoes mm -hmm. and, and what have you, topped with the roshti with a little salsa there. Another third of the liver mm. we made into a pate, which we'd lay it up between our roshti there, which is looking very, very delicious. Mm. And that was very mm. with nutmeg and pepper and thyme and some white wine and, and what have you. Okay. And then the other third we put into a, a tomato sauce and just braised it gently mm. with those bacon wrapped Lovely. yard bean rolls. So very okay. simple but very classic. Lovely. And uh, what's the verdict here? <laughs> She's got a mouthful. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is, it is just stunning. It's beautiful. Absolutely it? beautiful, yes. Lovely. Well done. Really, then. really good. And well Thank done you. to you, too. Oh, she's delighted. Do uh, you think you're going to be delighted too, Kelly? I think I will yeah. be. Oh, looks yummy, doesn't Definitely. it? Go on, you pick up your cup, yeah, Have right. a bit of a go. Do I have Phil, to use a fork? Can I what are you going to call this? Right. Well, unfortunately, mm. school's out for dinner. Mm. That is the guy. All right, mate, tell us what you did. A bit slow. <laughs> right. Let's start here. Let's start with the spinach roulade. Dead simple. Cooked the spinach in the microwave, in the bag, took it out and mixed it with a couple of tablespoons of flour, some mustard, uh, th three egg yolks, and, th and whipped up three egg whites, mm. folded it through, whacked it in the oven for about eight minutes. Okay, Roasted yes. the peppers, put it through, dead simple. The sauce, nice. cream, oh, sweet <laughs> corn. Sorry. Yeah, um, cream, yeah. sweet corn, a bit of tomato juice from Ross there, and, and just literally brought it to the and give it probably 15 seconds and that's it. It's mm. a really nice sauce. You can actually liquidise it as well. Mm. It's a very nice sauce. Uh, here we marinate this in soy sauce and sesame and lime juice. And as you can see, the fish is just starting to sort of chemically cook now. Mm. It's delicious. Do you like that? That yeah. is lovely. Yeah. That is really, really nice. You've never tried anything like that before, no, then, Kelly. No, sweet, okay. sweet corn fritters. Again, we do with chopped chives, uh, surplus in flour, eggs, mm. and just cooked in a, in a griddle. Dead easy and simple. Mm -hmm. Here, pasta. I, as I said, my kids love this sort of stuff. Mm. Cream, uh, sweet corn. We put some deep fried um, spring onions on top, as you can see. A bit of paprika, which has no heat, but kids mm. quite like the flavour. Mm -hmm. Again, t um, on a big plate rather than a little one. So you can put that on the table, kids mm. help yourself. And mm. I just want to show this is the tuna that we, we just. Oh, yeah, that's slightly mm. overcooked now. Mm. But look at that. No, I, I won't give you all that. No. <laughs> okay, so you don't you taste that. Again, mm -hmm. probably slightly overcooked with a touch of um, uh, soy sauce and sesame oil. And that's yes, which you made up yourself. Simple. Overall, Kelly? Oh, it's just stunning. Lovely. It is absolutely stunning. You'll get home and cook this for your hubby. Oh, and, I will uh, be. You'll get home and cook this for your hockey team, won't you? Absolutely. They yeah, would love they'll be it. looking hockey forward teas. to it. <laughs> oh, indeed. Hockey teas, ladies and gentlemen. What's it going to be? Green peppers <laughs> or red <laughs> tomatoes? Let's find out. Will you all please <laughs> vote now? And up they go. Oh, and it looks like today is a red tomato day. Hey, congratulations to you. Enjoy 
Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And you've got a few dishes that you've done oh, over the top of the sweet corn. Definitely sweet Lovely. corn. Hundred pound spending money there Lovely, for you. Thank you. Enjoy it. I okay. will do. Thank you. Nice 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 thank, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, there you go. Hey. You don't take the check, but you take home the lovely Ready Steady Cook hamper. All sorts Fab. of goodies in there for you. Have you enjoyed yourself today? Absolutely had a ball. Yeah, really, 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 really good fun. some of this fun. for the hockey team, maybe? Yes, I think so. Next yeah. Saturday. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Get out there and watch them ankles, love. That's oh, what I think. Thank <laughs> hey, thanks for sharing your stories. Well done, Ross. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, time for Quickie Bag. But let's say a very big thank you to Caroline and Kelly. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a more charming gentleman. Oh, well, there you go. Do you mean go. that? <laughs> no. He's, <laughs> he's full of it, isn't he? He is full of hey, it. Hey, what have we got here? Oh, now, that's something we don't see very often, really steady. Oh, Ross, that's to do with that, Ross, Yeah, people are instant mashed potato there. We've got some uh, reduced coconut milk. We've got some British pork mince, along with um, black-eyed beans, red pepper, and a red onion. OK, Rossi. Oh, I think to the, to, to the Victor, the first, the first go. No, nah, you have to go first, my mate. All right. Um, uh, how about a pork ball curry? Mm -hmm. um, pork and potato croquettes with a red pepper and, and bean salsa. Mm -hmm. And a... Uh, is that the Rossi or the black-eyed? Black-eyed bean um, um, dip with garlic toast. Lovely. OK, wow. fine. Wow, wow, wow. Um, <laughs> right, uh, I would think... I thought Ross's idea, so I've, I've got to nick it, but it's that crispy um, pork salad, which I quite like, on, on herb salad. So you mm. actually cook the meat really well to so it goes crispy with a nice lime and soy dressing. Uh, I quite like the, the idea of <laughs> making croquettes, but I've never used this stuff before, so I don't know how to go on that one. Um, I, but I think we could make a croquette or a fritter or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think we could do uh, almost like a vegetarian curry here with uh, the peppers, the onions and the peas and the coconut milk and some lime juice. OK, it, I think. fine. So, over to you guys once again. What are they going to choose? Let's find out. Green peppers, red tomatoes, will you all decide and vote now? Up they go, and, oh, look at this, eh? I think uh, it's a... Uh, they want a bit of Ross. Oh, I think they do want a bit of Ross, <laughs> eh? Go on, Ross, right. it's your bag. Let's get cooking. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ten minutes cooking time, Chef, starts now. Let's do it. Right. Okay, what can we do for you? Uh, if you can open the tins, well, that'd be great. Okay. Um, Phil, if you'd be so kind as to uh, make some garlic toast for me and also make a bit of lard. Okay, if I open that, I'll come yeah, back. Just, just, yeah, okay, great. Okay, chef. It's back. Lovely. On a bowl. Oh, and water. what are you going to be doing then, Rossi? I'm going to. Well, first of all, we're going to get this smash going. This is going to be uh, for our croquette. Yeah. Going to get some oil on to. Oh my goodness. Oh. I've never used this. Have before. you ever used this before? No. Rubbish. Yeah. No, I, I, I know that I happen to know of a Michelin starred restaurant in London that uses it for its um, pomme purée. But... No. <laughs> tell me, tell me. No, no, no don't tell you, say I'll tell that. you later. No, tell me. I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, okay. I remember as a kid, my mother, I think my mother used it as a kid when we went on holiday because it, was, it weighed less than taking potatoes. But... Yeah, but it's very convenient. Not everybody has things, you know what I mean? What, not everybody has potatoes? Oh, oh. It's, not, it's just not. I know, I know. But, you know, it's, it's, it's convenience products. Not, not everybody's like uh, everyone else. All so right, that's then. that's going to become basically we're going to we're going to season that that's going to become the basis of our croquettes. Okay, so. well I'll tell you what you do. You know, if you do have a product like this, ladies and gentlemen, you do have to kind of flavour it up, up a little bit. So we'll, we'll put some nutmeg, we'll, we'll, salt and pepper, and butter in and there, and some pe some chopped parsley to give it some colour as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. All right then, and it's just real constituted potatoes. That's when okay. I do come, when I do come, eventually get invited round to your gaff for supper. Mm. I, should be, I should be waiting All to see where the rubbing smashes. that in. Yes, I'm still building the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be the best kitchen ever. Oh, I know it is. There you go. Phil, uh, you're chopping away there, Chef. Tell us a little bit about that dish that you're creating. Well, what I'm going to do is um, Ross's garlic bread, or garlic toast, so I'm going to chop mm -hmm. some parsley, load of garlic, fresh butter, and cook some bread, which I need to get on the go, in, and almost to soak up the, bread, the juices and then just um, let them crisp up very slightly. And the other thing is I'm going to do the, oh, um, the old... Pork salad, which, you know, the crispy pork salad. It's one of Ross's recipes, I have to say, not mine. Yeah. But it's delicious. It's just basically fried pork. And you cook it until it goes really crispy with cumin and um, chilli. Yeah. And then you just put in lime juice to it last second. It's delicious. That's A it. bit of lime juice? Lime juice. OK. Last minute you hit it with the lime juice? Yep, right last second. OK. Oh, and also cumin, which I've got to put as well. 
Right, okay. I'm just toasting some um, uh, some sesame seeds there for the for the for the mash. Okay. We're going to make a uh, a little um, mm -hmm. get a little paste for the. Um, well, I was going to make a paste. We'll do it this way. You're going to make but, a watch. Yeah? I was going to make a paste, but you're using the. That's fine. I'm just going to start making the curry paste. I'm going to make some kofta to go into it. Okay, sure. Which be flavoured with. I will get another little, uh, little little thing there. Do you want something else to make? No, the paste no, no I'm, I'm doing just fine, thank you. Here we are. There's one here. No, that's for the sesame seeds. Okay. Oh. All sorts going on here, then, isn't there, eh? All right, my man. No problem at all. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a coriander going through one thing. You want a bit of flat parsley going through the uh, mash. We'll make a little salsa to go with our little doodahs here as well. Okay. Seven to go. Now, what about making that lovely and crispy? Are you just cooking it until it completely dries out, yeah. all the moisture comes out of it, and so you're just left with a kind of dryness in the pan? What happens, yeah. is you get... Especially in backpack meat, but you get a little bit of moisture coming out, and so you can always fry it up, but the, the, the secret is is to leave it in the pan so all the moisture's gone. Yeah. And then it will, it will brown eventually, but people take it out of the pan a bit too early. Okay. So hopefully, says he, it should be OK. And okay. it will brown eventually its own fat. All right. Lovely. Although lean, uh, lean pork has less fat per pound than cottage cheese. Mmm. You know? Okay. That's a nice. Uh... Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good clue. If you think about it, there. you take off the, the fat of a pork chop. There's no fat in it. Yeah. No, it's but perfect. pure meat, but pure sometimes protein. That fat but there's, 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 got a nothing, there's nothing flavor. dissolved in it. I mean, for instance, chicken now has twice as much fat as it did 20 years ago. Yes, you are right. But, but the whole point is, I, I like the fat of pork chop personally. But, yeah, so do I. But it's all, everything in moderation, mate. Okay, six minutes to go. Now, do you want, do you want a little bit of yoghurt through here? Um, uh, yeah, I, well, we, we need to, well, no, I think if you, if, when these are toasted to give them flavour, if we blend yeah. those up in a small one and put it through with a little bit of lemon juice and, and garlic... A bit more like that's the base yeah. of a tahini, then, it, is it? Exactly. OK, exactly. then, guys, and, of course, sesame seed is... Of course, the sesame seed paste is the... Uh... Full, of, full of zinc, very good for gentlemen. Yeah. Why is that, then, Ross? <laughs> Because gentlemen have a need for zinc. Absolutely. Yeah, look it up on the website. We're not going to tell you any more information. This is not a medical show. Uh, I have a uh, quickie question here from Charlotte Bustle from York. Good afternoon to you, Charlotte. She said, what is the best way of rehydrating sun-dried tomatoes? There you go. Phil, do you want to take that one? Yeah. Um, in oil, warm olive oil is quite good. Yeah. Oh, I, I tend to use... Um, a little bit of vinegar and oil mixed together, almost like a vinaigrette, and leave them overnight in the fridge and they'll come back okay. perfectly. But they, they will take quite a bit of time. And t t time is like what? I would say, in a fridge, probably a good sort of week, four or five days, you know, that sort of idea. OK, right, because okay? sometimes people think of that as an hour, don't they? Yeah, it's, yeah sorry, I wasn't as specific. All right, then. Anything to add to that, then, Ross, about the old sun-dried tomatoes? You no. can pop them... Some of them you need to pop into a little bit of hot water, don't you, to kind of... Re I, 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 I reduce the water, I have to say. Uh, generally. Yeah. All right, then, generally. You've got nutmeg in there, you've got pepper in there. What I haven't got in there yet is some uh, butter. Phil's got a bit open there, so I'll just chop a bit of that and pop that in there for you. OK. What would you do, Ains? There we are. Sorry, Phil. What would you do? What would I do? What are you sun-dried? Our uh, sun-dried tomatoes, well, again, I think okay, it's, you know, the Cheers, way to mate. pump them up, it very much depends on the product. Some okay. of them are kind of soft now, you get the sun-blushed variety, don't you? Yes, you do. So I think the sun-dried is perhaps, uh, depends if you live out somewhere, you're not able to get to the supermarket, then then you're looking at perhaps, you know, having to re sort of uh, rehydrate them. A lot them. of them now are actually sold in, sold in oil, aren't they? So yeah. So it's sort of quite delicious already. And they keep for a long time in that it's oil, so too. I tell you, if they're blended up to a paste and then rolled up in flatbread with light goat's cheese and mint, they're just delicious. Oh, all right, then. There you go. Another little bit of a tip there for you. OK, I'm going to put a little bit of cream into our mashed potato, Chef. Just, well, I don't want it too sloppy, because I, I know make it croquettes. won't so. be sloppy at all, I promise you. Just a little richness. That's it. Just a touch of richness there, and that will really help. See what I mean? OK, just See, need brilliant, that brilliant, kind brilliant, of thing. Brilliant. Just a kind of there. Let's go. We really need to get these croquettes done now. OK, so, uh, what are we knocking into this, Chef? No, I'm just going to plow my hands. OK. A little bit of flour. That's OK. Lovely. And what about the rest of the beans? You want uh, all the beans in goat can go into the, into the um, salsa mix, please. OK, That'd there we are. Tell you what would be really nice, actually, if I was doing this with a little more time, yeah. is a little baking powder in here would okay. give you a really fluffy croquette. OK. Just my mum used to do that, Ross. There we are, Chef. My mum used to do that. On your hands. Mashed potatoes. Just a touch What's of baking that? Make powder. croquettes. I, I am li I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, we are. Sweet, we are. We do listen to you, Phil. We're down the other end, mate. You know what it's like. 
Now, what were you saying? No, I'll tell you now. No, it's all right, Phil. Honestly, Phil, what no, were you oh, saying? Oh, don't have a Mardi now. Oh, Phil. Oh, oh, oh poor Can't Phil. Hear Hey, Phil, how are you? What? All right, mate, Can't lovely hear. to see you. All right, then. No, no, what I'm saying is my mum used to put... A I've got some lime oh. juice in here. What do you want in here? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a good so, thing we're friends. So that one's coming, isn't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> my mother used to put baking powder in mashed potato and it was always really nice, made very light really? and fluffy. Yeah. Oh, that's quite clever. Yeah. All right, that's what I was going to say. Baking powder in there. OK, a bit more sort of coriander going through our salsa here, Chef. Super. I've got the lime juice in there. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of olive oil too, guys. Oh, you're a and star. I don't, you I don't care require. what the producer says. I think you're lovely. OK, you've got two minutes to go. Fantastic. Also oh, there. these are bound to cook, aren't they? OK, <laughs> black-eyed beans, you can see. I put Beans those... are going into the salsa. Lovely. Yeah. OK, we've got, we've got a, a dip, dip coming together. Dip is going to be there. I'm going to put the sesame seed in there now. Brilliant. OK, we've got the olive oil there. It's almost like powdered, ladies and gentlemen. Remember we toasted that? There you go. But the toasting brings out all that flavouring, so all right, it's going to be delicious. And a very olive oil. There you go. I feel like right, there's water. We've there only got a few minutes to go, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One and a half to go. Let's keep this going. OK, so... How's your crispy pork mix going, Looking good. Phil? Looking good. <laughs> so good. Right, a bit more, uh, bit more olive oil in there. Okay. Thank you very much. That's it. Okay, lovely Brilliant stuff. Lovely. Right, what about that coconut? What yeah, were we yeah, going to yeah, use coconut's that for? going to go in the curry. The curry's, okay, the curry's yes. happening just now. Okay, let's hurry up and get this done. Okay, a little bit of uh, chili going in there to spice that up there. Okay, one bit of chili. How you doing, Phil? You're going to be there on time. Well, then. Okay, one minute to go, guys. Let's uh, up the ante. Let's get this out of the way. OK, there we are. Beautiful salsa there. Getting the right balance of lime juice and olive oil through there. Just enough, guys. Don't overdo it. OK, 45 seconds to go. All right, there. Are they rare burgers? They're very rare burgers. Yeah. <laughs> OK, then. We're giving the people the idea. That's the most important thing. OK, lo lovely little dip here. OK, spoon. 30 seconds. Where's the salsa going, please? Uh, going with the, the salsa. with the croquettes, thank you. OK. That's it. Uh, where's the, where's the dip? A dip. Dips where? Dip, don't worry about it. I've okay, got a salt fine. jar here. Have it. Don't worry. Hey, we've just lost some salt. There we are. Ten, <laughs> nine, eight, <laughs> seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Name then, Ross. Well, it's Curry in a hurry, and it's a smash. Yeah. <laughs> now we're, ta we're talking about these burgers. Obviously, we were going to do them in a short space of time, make them a little bit smaller next time, wouldn't we? But uh, tell us a... about the ingredients well, and everything. How you brought this together? I wouldn't. I have to say, I wouldn't do it again because what happened is that as it's cooked, each layer has sort of peeled off. So mm. they're obviously not not ideal for this. But with mash real mashed potatoes, they'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we made a real mashed potato croquette. So with flour in your hands, put a little bit of sma uh, mashed potato on your hands, mm. a little bit of, of spice filling, roll it up, deep fry it. It's absolutely delicious. Made with a with a um, a salsa of the beans and peppers and onions and all that sort of healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. We also, I made a curry sauce out of um, the onions and garlic and some coriander roots mm -hmm. and tomato paste and spices and, and whatever, thickened a little, little bit at the end with the coconut milk. We browned the koftas and we poached them in it with some peppers there. Mm, what about this, Phil? Cr well, down to a very crunchy. It's really it's cooked. It should be cooked a bit longer, I think Ross will tell me. Yeah. But you get that lovely flavour profile, sweet and sour. So we're talking about cooking it out maybe 15 yeah, to 20 minutes. just it goes minutes. really crunchy. Really, just so allow it to go nice and crunchy and crispy. There. And it's, it's actually goes a little bit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And here we just did some garlic toast just for the little dip thing. That's yeah, it. for the Interesting, that's the stretchings. whole point of the lab is, is that, you know, again, it's peasant food and yeah. there's a little bit of meat to be stretched a long way with lots of herbs growing in the garden or in mm -hmm. the jungle. Mm. Mm. Very, very Lovely. tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I've got a mouthful of food there. I shouldn't <laughs> have tried it, but do join us again soon for more cooking inspiration on Ready, Steady, Cook. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>